Hi guys, it's Tracy and today I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to be showing you all of the Koki nail polishes that I have ended up with. They are by far my favorite nail polish of all time. I'm talking out of high end, out of cheap end, out of any nail polishes. These are the only nail polishes that actually stay on my nails. Usually when I polish my nails, like by the, I can polish them at night and by the next afternoon, they're already chipped. So I would hardly ever polish my fingernails because they just would never stay on. And I was tired of like wasting my time, you know, and then for the, the next day to have chipped nails. So I can put my microphone in today. Okay. Um, so I just happened to come across these when I was in Rite Aid one day and I saw a really pretty color. It was this greenish one. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna try that if, you know, I can put it on my toes. And I don't have a problem. Everything will stay on my toes. I don't know why, just my fingernails, but I've tried, you know, all kinds of, you know, base coat, top coat. I've tried all kinds of stuff. And I'm talking about, I have OPI, Morgan Taylor, China Glaze, you know, all the, higher end i've tried essie and none of them so i was so shocked when i bought this and it stayed on my nails like i could not believe it so i just started like collecting them they had a sale and they were like spend twelve dollars get a six dollar um, bonus cash and then they had you know they had a few sales here and there where i picked up the ones that i have so today this combination on my nails is this color called cayenne and then I have it topped with this one called crown jewel and this has been on my nails for about four days five days I would say my nails are hideous I don't know why they they just they don't grow they look yucky when they grow so I just cut them off but yeah, these have been on for like at least four days and I have no chips. So you can see why these have become a favorite. So I don't buy any other nail polishes for my fingernails now, except for Koki. And I do have a few holes in my collection, so I'll probably need to be picking up some more. So I got one of these little color nail wheels so that you could see like the true color of them. Mr.'s here over here on the corner. What are you looking at? Psst, say hi. <laughs> so if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. If you like seeing this video or any other video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any video suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section, as well as leave me a comment. I love talking to you guys. So let's see, let's start out. I tried to put these in order of number because they have a number as well as a name. So the first one I have here is number six. And this one is called Raise the Barbados. I don't know where I got rainbow from. So this one's called Raise the Barbados. And this is just kind of like, it's, it's uh, like a flat kind of color. It's not matte, but it's not like a pearlized finish. So that is number six. And then this one is number seven. And this one is called Atlantis at Last. And these are two coats I, w I think I did. Usually if I'm doing it and I'm putting one of the top coats, the, the glitter, I only need to put one coat down and then I put the glitter on top of that. But if you're just wanting to wear it on its own, I would say you would need two coats. So this one, this, it's like a cobalt blue called Atlantis at last. Really pretty color. Then we have this light gray. This is NP22 and this is called Silhouette. That's this one right here. It's just like a really light gray silhouette. And then this one is NP29 and it's called Cafe Olay. I really like this color. At first I wasn't too sure. You know, I thought, oh, it's like a beige, but it's a really nice shade of beige and it goes really well like underneath some of the top coats. So that is Cafe Olay. And then this next one here is called Enigma, and this is NP30, and this is just a deep gray, really dark, deep gray. And that's this is really pretty just on its own. 
And then I have another purple one here. You guys know I love purple, my favorite color. And this one is number 31, Knockout. And this one is has like a sheen to it, like a pearlized finish. Unlike the first one that's kind of flat, this one has like a shine to it. So that one is, what did I say it was? Knockout. Okay, next up we have this kind of light lavender. This is number 42 right here. And this one is called Wondrous. So this light lavender here, really pretty color. This next one is one of my most favorite colors to wear just on its own without anything over the top. This is number 43 right here. And it's called Mystic Mauve. And it is like a, it's a mauve color. It's a really, really nice color when you put it down. I was really surprised at how much I liked it. So really pretty color. Next one here is number 45. And this is called Euphoria. Now this one is a little bit deceiving because I don't know if you can see in the bottle, it almost looks like it's a duochrome. It looks like a gold to kind of green. And when you see it, you're like, oh, that's gonna be so cool. But it's just really a gold. So this is number 45. It's a pretty color, but if you're looking at it in the bottle and you're seeing green and you know, you're thinking it's going to be like something that's going to shift colors and it doesn't, it's just kind of this gold color. It's a really pretty gold though. So it is pretty. So number 45 and then next one here, this is number 50 and this is celestial and this is it right here and this one is like opaque on its own like if you have a polish underneath it you don't even really see the polish so this one's a good one if you're just wanting some glittery looking and you don't want to put anything underneath it this one is a really good one for that this is number 50 celestial and let's see the next one here 51 this is called feeling lucky and this is like a green based glitter and I've tried these mixing and matched them over all the different shades and stuff and they all look good over anything that I've done so these th these ones though they're kind of light if you're just wanting it on its own you could maybe build it up a bit more but this is two coats so that is feeling lucky next one here is the one I just showed you crown jewel and this is number 53. This is one of my favorite ones to top with. It's just got purple and blue and kind of silver. It's just got all, you know, different sorts of shades in there. And then next up is 54. This was the first one, the one that started my love for Koki. And that's it right there. Nice and opaque with two coats. I thought it was gonna be maybe like a glittery top and you would need something underneath it, but this is the color that you get when you put it on your nails, which is nice. And this one is called Oceana. And then, let's see, number 57 is called Intergalactic. And this one is another one that's kind of where if you, you know, two, three coats, you could wear it just on its own. You don't have to top it with something because it's got like finer pieces of glitter in it. And it's kind of got like a blue and a, the base on it looks like it's a little pink. And it's got like blue and silver and just all kinds of beautifulness. So that right there is 57 Intergalactic. And then this is my favorite top coat. This one is 63 Center Stage. Now this one has, uh, bigger pieces of glitter in it. That's it right there. And this one is a really nice one to put over and because it has so many, you know, different colors and it has different sizes of glitter in it too. So it makes it really like multi-dimensional and it really catches the light. And it, it has like blue and green and purple. It's just got like all kinds of little pieces of goodness in there. One of my favorite ones. Center stage. Three more to go. 
Next one up is 66. This is called Northern Lights. I had been looking for this one and looking for this one and every Rite Aid I was going in, it was sold out. And I'm like, that one must be a good one because it's always gone. So this one is called Northern Lights right there. This one has the bigger pieces of glitter in it too. And it is mostly like blues and purples in it but it still looks good like on whatever color you put underneath it. That's what I like about these top coats is that like you can put it over pretty much whatever color you already have on and it looks good. And then next we have number 78. That's what I have on my nail now. And this one's called Cayenne. It's, and it's not like a red, it's more like an orange or like a really bright coral. So it's a really pretty color. And then the last one I have here is like a baby pink. That's this one right here. And this is the number 98 and it's called Classic. So there are all the shades. I did see a green one the other day when I was in there and like a maroon one. And I was like, ooh, I need those, but I stopped myself. <laughs> but I'll probably end up getting them. So those are all of the shades that I have in Koki nail polishes. By far my favorite, longest lasting, so good. On my eyes today, I have the Uh Huh Honey <laughs> palette, just the all yellow palettes. And it was actually pretty nice. I used the glitter after, like I was all done and then I just decided to pop the glitter on with my finger and it didn't even really fall too much onto my face. It really stuck where I put it, so. That was nice. And then on my lips, I had the BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen in Stephanie, and it's topped with the Alomar Lip Gloss in Serenita. I think that's what it is, Serenita, Serenity? I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but I, I think that's what it is. So I think that is all that I have to show you today. If um, you have any questions, any video ideas, Leave them down below in the comment section. Let's talk. Let me know if you guys have an amazing nail polish that I need to know about. And the other key to getting the polishes to last is that top coat that I've told you guys about. It's by a brand called Cuccio. It's C-U-C-C-I-O. I know that they have it at Sally Beauty Supply, I heard. And if you can go to Cosmoprof, they carry it at Cosmoprof. I looked on Amazon the other day and it was $12 on Amazon. So it's $6 at Cosmoprof and I'm not sure how much it is at Sally, but I imagine it's less than 12. But that top coat is like what seals the stuff in for me. And what I do is I'll put like the color on and then I'll go in with that top coat and then I'll put like a, a sparkly topper on it and then i'll put another coat of the wow it's dry that's what it's called wow it's dry and it is amazing it dries your nails so fast that it's crazy so that's the only top coat that i use on my fingernails i don't bother on my toenails because the stuff stays on my toenails no problem but that's the key that i have found is if i'm not going to put a, a sparkly top coat i just Put the polish and then put the top coat and that's it but if i want to add you know the glitter on the top then i'll seal it in add the glitter and seal it in so that is what i have found that works for me finally after all these years of trying to get nail polish to stick to my nails i finally found something that worked so i'm so happy to have found koki nail polishes and how can i not love them they have an elephant and i think their thing on their website says follow the elephant so i think that's really cute you guys know i love elephants love elephants my necklace my ring my tattoo you know so i think that's gonna wrap up this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel welcome i hope you think about subscribing before you leave make sure to click the notification bell to be notified of future videos and if you made it all the way to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all have a beautiful day or night wherever you are and i will catch you guys in the next one Bye -bye. Bye -bye.